Uh, good morning. Uh, I hope uh, all of you are fine and safe from the uh, ongoing pending pandemic COVID-19. Uh, today we shall uh, discuss on uh, stoichiometry again. And after a brief discussion on stoichiometry, we shall discuss uh, uh, interact with you. I shall interact with you and learn something about you, what you have uh, followed my lecture. So stoichiometry, uh, already the basic concept I discussed uh, in an earlier lecture. Uh, stoichiometry uh, is very important for estimating the amount of reactants to produce a certain amount of product in the chemical processes. So stoichiometry is not only used to balance chemical reaction equations, but also used in conversion, converting from grams to moles or from grams to milliliters is possible. For example, to find the number of moles in two gram of sodium chloride, one would do the following. So you can do the following so you can understand two gram of sodium chloride, uh, uh, you know, uh, has uh, or equivalent to 0 0.034 mole of uh, sodium chloride. So we can convert from mole to gram, gram to mole uh, or other unit. Uh, in the above example, when uh, written out in fraction form, the unit of grams uh, form a multiplicative identity, which is equivalent to, uh, uh, you know, one, uh, that means gram by gram, uh, with the resulting amount of moles, the unit that was needed is shown in the following equation. So you can write, for example, two gram of uh, sodium uh, chloride and one mole of sodium chloride uh, equal to 58.44 gram of sodium chloride. So uh, uh, you can do, you know, a normal uh, in partigonit, uh, you did uh, oikignium. So uh, how can you do it? Uh, you can do it, uh, the, uh, this uh, gram of uh, sodium chloride uh, equal to one mole of sodium chloride. So uh, one gram of sodium chloride, so the one mole by this gram of sodium chloride. So then you multiply uh, the amount that is two gram of uh, sodium chloride. Finally, you will get the mole. So this is a very uh, simple uh, uh, mathematics. I hope you can easily do it of your own. Stoichiometry is also used to find the right amount of reactants to use in a chemical reaction. Um, an example is shown below using the thermite reaction. Uh, th in thermite reaction, you see ferric oxide plus aluminum is uh, produced, aluminum oxide and iron. So uh, here uh, it is a, a balanced uh, reaction. Uh, in this uh, equation, uh, um, it, is shows, uh, uh, it is shown that uh, one mole, uh, one mole of uh, aluminum oxide, one mole of aluminum oxide uh, and two mole of iron uh, are produced uh, by the reaction of one mole of ferric oxide and two mole of uh, aluminum. Uh, so uh, uh, to completely react with 85.0 gram of iron oxide, uh, because iron oxide, you know, uh, the molecular weight of iron and oxygen, uh, in total 85 uh, gram of iron oxide uh, means 0.53 uh, 
two mole of uh, uh, you know iron oxide and uh, 28.7 gram of uh, aluminium uh, that means 1.06 mole so you can convert uh, the mole to a gram gram to mole uh, it is very uh, 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 easy so in that case how much uh, aluminium uh, is required uh, you can easily uh, 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 calculate how many moles of aluminium required, how many grams of aluminium required. So mole to gram, gram to mole, uh, you can easily uh, calculate. And it is very simple, uh, you know, oikignium. Uh, if you do that, then you can uh, get it. Different stoichiometries in competing uh, reactions. Um, sometimes reactions are, uh, uh, you know, if uh, different reactants are present, the ratio of uh, different reactants, uh, uh, the result that is, uh, you know, product is varied. Uh, often more than one reaction is possible uh, given the same starting material. For example, you are using uh, benzene. You, you possibly remember the Friedel Crafts reaction. Benzene and, uh, you know, uh, methyl chloride uh, when you uh, react, then, uh, you know, toluene and hydrochloric acid uh, can be, uh, uh, that means monomethyl benzene can be uh, produced. But if you increase the, uh, you know, uh, methyl chloride, uh, the mo molar ratio of methyl chloride with benzene, then you can get different product. For example, dimethyl benzene, even, uh, you know, uh, uh, may uh, you know um, multi-methyl uh, benzene uh, can be possible so depending on the ratio of the reactants we can see the product is uh, different in many chemical reaction uh, it is uh, taken place so in that case this is a very very important reaction and model reaction uh, that is friedel crafts reaction uh, uh, where aluminum chloride is used as a catalyst. So, uh, depending on the uh, ratio, molar ratio of here one mole, here one mole uh, benzene, one mole, uh, you know, methyl chloride, one mole benzene, two mole methyl chloride, here you can see the product is different. So, uh, this is why, um, which is you target in the chemical reaction, uh, uh, you have to use the reactants in appropriate, uh, you know, uh, molar ratio. And from the molar ratio, you can easily calculate the amount of the reactant uh, uh, required uh, to add in the reaction. So uh, this is another interesting, uh, one of the interesting uh, feature of the, you know, chemical uh, synthesis. Uh, stoichiometry can be used in the uh, gas, uh, gaseous reaction also. Uh, it is called gas stoichiometry. Uh, gas stoichiometry is the quantitative relationship, uh, that means the ratio between reactants and products in a chemical reaction with reactions that produce gases. Gas stoichiometry applies when the gases produced are assumed to be ideal. Uh, and the temperature and pressure and volume of the gases are all known. Uh, in gas, uh, you know, reaction uh, to produce gas or, uh, you know, reactants and uh, uh, if they are gas, in that case, there are some very crucial factors, pressure in the, you know, reactant, uh, 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 reactor, uh, as well as temperature and volume of the reactor is very important. You know, uh, uh, if volume of the re reactor is bigger, then gas will be diluted and concentration could be uh, less and then reaction will be also hampered. So pressure, uh, volume and temperature uh, should be in ideal condition uh, uh, and it is uh, important. So idea, the ideal gas law is used for this calculation. 
often but not always the standard temperature and pressure are taken as zero degree celsius and one bar uh, uh, that is pressure standard uh, temperature and pressure uh, one degree celsius and one bar and used as conditions for gas stoichiometric calculation uh, gas stoichiometric calculation solved for the unknown volume or mass of a gaseous product or reactant. Uh, for example, if you wanted to calculate the volume of gaseous nitrous oxide produced from combustion of 100 gram of ammonia by the reaction like this one, ammonia, oxygen, and nitrous oxide and water we would carry out the following calculation. So by using this calculation, that means uh, uh, we can easily uh, get the, uh, you know, uh, 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 result. In that case, you have to consider a uh, standard uh, uh, gas law, uh, uh, that is uh, uh, temperature and uh, pressure law uh, to get the uh, amount. So please, uh, uh, in your home, uh, homework, please calculate it. Uh, and uh, for different uh, 100 gram of ammonia, uh, uh, how much nitrogen will be produced, how much oxygen is required, uh, and uh, uh, what you can do first uh, go uh, from the you know uh, gram to mole uh, uh, in each case, gram to mole, then you can get the ratio, and finally, you can easily get the. Uh, 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 how to say, uh, convert it into the uh, a gram or a liter or like that. There is a one to one molar ratio of ammonia uh, uh, to nitrous oxide. Here you can see uh, nitrous oxide four mole and ammonia also four mole. So one to one ratio. Uh, in the above balanced combustion reaction. So 5.871 uh, mole of nitrous oxide will be formed. Uh, we will uh, employ the ideal gas law to solve for the volume uh, at zero degree Celsius. Zero degree Celsius means 273.15 uh, Kelvin. Uh, uh, and one atmosphere uh, using uh, the gas law constant is this one. Uh, uh, so uh, this is the formula, uh, PV equal to NRT. So you can um, uh, uh, estimate the volume of uh, gas, uh, how much uh, volume of nitrous oxide is produced uh, from this uh, equation uh, as of uh, a gas, uh, uh, you know, uh, given the density of that gas. Uh, the ideal gas law can be uh, rearranged to obtain a reaction between the density and the molar mass of an ideal gas. So there is uh, some other uh, equation. Uh, you can get the molar mass uh, as well as the, uh, you know, uh, uh, volume uh, of the uh, uh, gases in the uh, stoichiometric uh, reaction. So there are uh, uh, several, uh, you, uh, th this formula is, uh, you know, very important. Here you see ap 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 absolute gas pressure, this one, uh, MP by RT, this is, there are lots of, you know, gas, uh, 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 you know, formula uh, equation for calculating the a gaseous uh, stoichiometric reaction, the volume, uh, B volume, gas volume, uh, so, uh, and number of moles. So all the, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, this uh, letter uh, uh, symbol, what is the meaning here, it, here is uh, this. So from this uh, equation, uh, using these equations, you can easily calculate uh, whatever uh, the question is asked for. So what is the meaning of the, uh, another point is coefficient uh, in a chemical uh, equation. 
uh, what is the meaning of coefficients in chemical equation uh, uh, coefficient uh, in uh, chemical equation uh, therefore tell us how many molecules or moles of each substance are needed for the reaction to occur uh, so certain uh, moles of reaction uh, uh, you know uh, reactants are required to uh, uh, you know produce a certain product so coefficient uh, uh, of the reaction uh, is like that uh, it is important to remember that these coefficients do not tell us the ratio of grams actually ratio of moles uh, is coefficient not ratio of grams so ratio of grams you have to calculate for each substance just because there are two moles of hydrogen needed to react with each mole of oxygen does not mean that there are two grams of hydrogen needed for every gram of oxygen because molar mass of oxygen and hydrogen is different uh, that would only be the uh, case of each mole of oxygen weight as much as each mole of hydrogen and the periodic table shows that this is clearly not the case because molar mass of oxygen and hydrogen is different thus in order to use a chemical equation to predict the amounts of substances used uh, you know you need to calculate the uh, molar ratio uh, in a chemical reaction we must always solve such a problem using moles as our unit of matter first moles and then you can go for uh, the amount uh, in any unit uh, additional uh, conversion steps will be required if the problem does not actually supply or ask for the number of moles uh, what is happening to uh, atoms and molecules during a chemical reaction consider the unbalanced uh, uh, you know chemical equation for the reaction of hydrogen and oxygen below hydrogen uh, and oxygen uh, one mole one mole if react is it uh, possible uh, to produce uh, water uh, it is possible but uh, yeah, it may be uh, possible because here you see two hydrogen and one oxygen here two hydrogen two oxygen so one uh, oxygen uh, remain unreacted uh, now consider the actual moles reacting with each other so uh, this is uh, important uh, uh, for getting highest uh, you know uh, uh, be benefit you need two moles of hydrogen with uh, one mole of oxygen then you will get two moles of water and you will get no wastes uh, this is very important so how is the law of conservation of matter obeyed clearly neither of the two depictions above is accurate because the number of atoms before the reaction is not equal to number of atoms after the reaction uh, it is important to remember the law of conservation of matter atoms can neither be uh, created nor destroyed during an ordinary chemical reaction uh, it, uh, it, it is the law of conservation uh, of matter that is atoms can neither be created uh, or nor uh, destroyed during any uh, ordinary chemical reaction thus in order uh, uh, for the law of conservation of matter to be obeyed the reaction can only take place with the following ratio of substances yes then the reaction will be uh, properly taken place and you will get uh, the uh, you know optimum uh, product that means two mole of uh, hydrogen one mole of uh, uh, oxygen will give you two moles of water uh, 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 this is uh, uh, important and if you use for example oxygen very high amount and only two moles of uh, hydrogen for example uh, here 20 moles of oxygen what would happen you will get only two moles of water and rest of the oxygen will remain as unreacted now uh, uh, if you ask to solve a question examples of uh, simple stoichiometric problem moles to moles 
how many moles of water can be produced from 2.88 moles of oxygen and excess hydrogen, hydrogen excess uh, sufficient. Uh, then you can easily calculate it and it, uh, uh, water will be produced 5.76. So from the molar ratio, uh, you can easily uh, uh, get it and then you can use the uh, you know, molecular weight uh, uh, and you can get the uh, solution. So these are some uh, simple solution. How many moles of water can be produced from 2.88 moles of hydrogen and excess oxygen uh, uh, water will be produced 2.88 moles and uh, how many moles of hydrogen are needed to produce 10.8 moles of water uh, assume uh, oxygen is excess in that case you will get 10.8 moles so your homework is all the uh, you know problem it is uh, the very simplified form uh, uh, is calculated so you can do uh, of your own uh, style and uh, get the all you know correct answer. Sir, give it. Sir, sir. Hmm? Sir, Pardon? Can you tell sir. me loudly? Sir, is like terrible to sir. Sir, sir. Okay, uh, this is very a uh, simple thing. If you do not understand, uh, uh, you should be concentrated very uh, nicely. Here you see uh, uh, when oxygen and hydrogen is react. For example, oxygen is excess, uh, but hydrogen is two mole. Uh, then what would happen? You will get only two moles of wa uh, water and excess hydrogen will remain uh, as it was. So if you are asked, uh, 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 you know, uh, any amount of, hydrogen and excess oxygen, you can easily calculate how many, uh, you know, grams of uh, water will be produced because you know the molar mass of hydrogen and you know the uh, molar mass of uh, uh, molecular weight of oxygen, 16, here one. So you can, uh, you see only the ratio. Ratio is uh, two mole uh, of hydrogen react with one mole of oxygen. So this is the uh, reaction. So any, uh, you can uh, calculate how much uh, amount of hydrogen, uh, uh, two moles of hydrogen means one uh, mole of, uh, uh, one, uh, uh, you know, uh, hydrogen uh, uh, contains, you know, uh, uh, 1.008 uh, uh, gram. So uh, here four, four hydrogen means four uh, uh, point uh, something uh, react with uh, here oxygen two, uh, uh, means uh, 16 into 2, uh, so 16 into uh, 32 grams or, li or a little more. So you can un uh, first uh, see, uh, calculate the how much molar ratio is present in the reaction. And then easily you can convert it into the gram or liter or something uh, like that because you know the uh, molecular mass and this calculation is very easy. Uh, for example, here, uh, you see uh, 2.88 moles of uh, uh, oxygen and excess hydrogen. That means you know the uh, uh, oxygen amount. Oxygen and hydrogen uh, react with two mole of hydrogen with uh, one mole of uh, oxygen. Uh, so please consider the previously given the reaction. Then uh, if 2.88 mole, if uh, here you see uh, oxygen is one mole, and hydrogen is two mole. So if oxygen is 2.88 mole, then how much hydrogen is required? One mole of uh, oxygen uh, require two mole of hydrogen for complete reaction. So 2.88 mole, so you can uh, 2.88 into uh, two, uh, 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 you will get the how many moles of hydrogen is required. And then you can easily calculate how many, uh, how much amount of hydrogen uh, is uh, required. Uh, so uh, uh, easily uh, uh, you can uh, uh, calculate uh, uh, the even amount of water. For example, uh, you see, uh, if you know the, uh, uh, this ratio, two is to one, uh, give the uh, two. Two is to one equal to two. That means when uh, this ratio is maintained, uh, that means when uh, excess amount, for example, oxygen is uh, used or 2.88 uh, mole of oxygen use, is used. 
here you see when one mole of oxygen is used then you get two mole of water so when you use 2.88 uh, mole of oxygen then you can uh, easily uh, uh, understand how many moles of water is required uh, uh, produced that means you just multiply uh, uh, 2.88 into 2 that means uh, uh, um, you know uh, 5.76 uh, moles of water and if it is uh, uh, asked to uh, uh, tell you uh, how many uh, amount uh, of uh, water then you can you know the uh, 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 molecular weight of uh, hydrogen molecular weight of oxygen so you can convert it uh, into the uh, you know a gram here it is simple just you multiplied into uh, uh, two because one mole oxygen uh, uh, required to produce two mole of hydrogen as uh, hydrogen is excess so two mole of uh, oxygen uh, uh, 2.88 moles of oxygen uh, uh, will produce uh, a double amount of uh, uh, double uh, 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 amount of uh, that means the amount of oxygen multiply by two uh, uh, moles of water and if it is asked uh, the gram or you can uh, you know the mole, uh, here is uh, two and uh, uh, 16 18 so you can uh, multiply into the 18 then you will get the gram or like that so these are the very simple you know uh, high school uh, math uh, you can easily calculate uh, uh, very uh, simple uh, math because I'm giving you uh, this simplest example so that uh, you can understand the basic uh, principle. Uh, similarly, you see how many moles of water uh, can be produced uh, from 2.88 moles of hydrogen and excess oxygen. What we know, two moles of, uh, two moles of water required uh, to produce two moles of uh, hydrogen. Uh, uh, that means two moles of hydrogen produce two moles of water. So one mole of hydrogen produce two moles of water by two moles of hydrogen. So if you are asked 2.88 moles of hydrogen or any other big number, just multiply it, then you can get the uh, water. So first chemical reaction, please balance reaction. Uh, you uh, 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 draw and then uh, from that ratio, do the oikic neom, and you can make the, uh, a anything, uh, uh, any uh, you know uh, molar ratio or molar amount, uh, either oxygen or hydrogen, because oxygen and hydrogen react two is to one mole uh, and produce the two mole of water. So this is uh, the uh, balanced equation. So from that balanced equation, anything is unknown or any amount is increased uh, uh, among these three. Uh, uh, you know, reactants, two reactants, and one product, you can easily calculate it. So a uh, similar thing uh, is here, uh, I think uh, uh, you can solve it. So try of your own and solve all the problem. Uh, 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 these are, you know, uh, American style calculation. Uh, do a Bangladeshi style calculation. For example, here you see uh, in gram, uh, when you know the, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, amount of uh, 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 amount of moles, then you can easily uh, convert it into the gram. So first you uh, have to find out how many moles uh, required or produced, then convert it into the uh, uh, gram or a liter or anything else, uh, uh, depending on the, uh, the molecular weight. From the periodic table, uh, you can find the molecular weight of hydrogen, oxygen, or anything, any uh, element uh, 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 available in the net. And you already know that hydrogen 1, oxygen 16, uh, or uh, most of the thing, uh, you know. So uh, these are the, you know, uh, all about uh, uh, today's lecture. Do you have any question? Then I shall uh, repeat it again. Uh, the simplest yeah, fundamental yes Sir, uh, can you please uh, review the slide different stoichiometrics in competing reactions where uh, three reactions uh, are uh, viewed we are seeing but uh, uh, the slide is not clear to me Sir. Uh, which which slide is not clear to you Sir, different stoichiometries in competing reactions. 
Fidel Craft's reaction. Where Fidel Craft's reactions are. Okay, okay, okay. Shown. In Fidel Craft reaction, for example, let me show you. Where is the Fidel Craft? Yes. Yes. Here you see molar ratio when uh, benzene and at uh, you know methyl chloride. Here one mole and one mole. Okay, one mole and one mole. Result is one mole methyl. Uh, uh, you know toluene. One, that means monomethyl benzene. So you have to under uh, and one mole hydrochloric acid. Uh, this is the ratio uh, of the mole. So if you are asked uh, if one is to one ratio reaction taken place, for example, one ton of benzene and one ton of uh, you know uh, uh, five thousand uh, you know molar of benzene, five thousand molar of toluene, uh, then you will get you know uh, five thousand molar of uh, toluene. So uh, molar ratio you first calculate and. Uh, if anyone is unknown, just get the, uh, you know, uh, how many moles there. Uh, here, very uh, interestingly, one is to one is to one is to one. All are one. Then you will get the, uh, you know, toluene. But uh, uh, if uh, a benzene and methyl chloride, one is to one. But if it is one is to two, you would not get the, you know, toluene. You would get the dimethyl benzene. So this is the you know Friedel Craft reaction. So if you uh, uh, there are several other uh, uh, you know uh, reactions discovered by uh, organic chemists. So you have to follow their standard reaction uh, and uh, 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 understand which product you will get. Then if anything is unknown, for example, uh, one uh, a ton of benzene and two tons of uh, you know methyl chloride if reacts obviously you get you know one ton of dimethyl benzene uh, this is uh, 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 not one ton of uh, 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 because uh, uh, the molecular weight is different so you what you need to do Mo molar ratio for example 5000 mole of benzene uh, and uh, 1000 mole of methyl chloride, you will get 5,000 mole of uh, dimethyl benzene. Is it clear now? You consider the molar ratio uh, to get the product and standard chemical reaction, you cannot take a uh, uh, change. Uh, but uh, this ratio, when uh, 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 the ratio of the reactant is changed, not always in case of Friedel crafts, it happened. But in case of water and hydrogen or many other reactions, actually product is always uh, you know constant. But in Friedel Crafts reaction, in some other reaction reactions, depending on the re molar ratio of the uh, you know uh, reactants, product you will get different. But from the equation, uh, uh, you can understand how many moles are produced when you know the moles of, uh, for, uh, for example, from this equation, uh, when you know the moles, for example, uh, if uh, one is to two react, then two mole hydrochloric acid is produced. So uh, you can easily understand if uh, uh, here uh, the molar uh, ratio, uh, 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 um, uh, molar amount, for example, 5,000 benzene, 1,000 hydrochloric acid, a, a, a methyl chloride is react, then 1000 mole of hydrochloric acid will be produced. Then this hydrochloric acid, you can convert into uh, the amount like uh, hydrogen one, chlorine 35.5. So you can convert it, uh, it into gram. Uh, clear? Yes, sir. Thank yes. you, sir. We, we cannot change uh, 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 the, you know, uh, as, as some universal and established, established chemical reaction uh, and norm. Now you may ask me question, why uh, methyl chloride is incre increased uh, in the molar ratio, that means one is to two, why it is produced? Uh, it is, you know, uh, uh, there are uh, uh, lots of uh, organic chemical uh, uh, reason 
uh, uh, because uh, of uh, 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 this type of result. And in, uh, if you go to the uh, friedel craft reaction in detail, there, are, uh, there is a chapter in organic chemistry. You can find how electron uh, is exchanged and uh, the product is maintained depending on the ratio and affinity of the you know, uh, methyl group uh, as well as the uh, you know, uh, uh, benzyl group. Uh, 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 attached together and make this reaction. So it, it was a very big discovery, a uh, friedel craft reaction, and it is uh, established and uh, under uh, the condition of uh, friedel craft uh, reaction when aluminum chloride is used as catalyst, uh, you obviously get the, uh, this result. So uh, basic principle is uh, in the reaction, uh, what you need to do, uh, uh, calculate first the uh, molar ratio, and then you convert it into <coughs> the amount, depending on the uh, element, uh, uh, elemental uh, mass uh, in the, uh, available in the periodic table. And if you are asked, uh, uh, for example, um, from five ton of uh, benzene, uh, uh, and uh, you know uh, uh, how many uh, toluene is required. So what you uh, need to do, you have to calculate the uh, uh, how many uh, moles of uh, uh, benzene is present in five ton. So equal, uh, double uh, moles is required methyl chloride. So you can easily uh, cal uh, calculate the amount of methyl chloride is required. So always uh, move to the uh, you know, mole, mole and then, uh, you know, uh, see in the reaction what ratio is there and how many moles and then convert it into the amount. Clear? Yes, sir. Clear. Sir. Oh, good. Thank you. Any, anyone uh, have any uh, uh, question? The most important is please start uh, uh, doing a, a calculation of the, uh, as answer is given, uh, all the you know uh, 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 simple reaction I have given in your own thought, uh, considering the molar ratio uh, in the reaction, and get the how many moles is produced, uh, whatever the amount is uh, given, uh, amount convert into the mole because you know the molar mass uh, and uh, the ratio of a mole you calculate and then uh, uh, simply you can get the amount whatever the question is. Any any more question from anyone? Sir, I have a question, sir. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, why don't we use ideal gas law, which is PV equal to NRT? Uh, sir, uh, in ideal gas, there are uh, negligible space and no interaction between the particles. But in real uh, gases, uh, they have some volumes and uh, uh, interaction between the particles. So how? Will in the PV equal to NRT will be applicable for real gases? Yes, in the you know chemical industry, any process, uh, your uh, expectation is the profit, highest product. So to, uh, in the natural system, you know uh, there is no control. Uh, lots of reaction is taken place in the nature, and everything is going uh, slowly in most cases. So uh, there is no. Uh, 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 nature is not, uh, you know, uh, doing any industrial business. But when you do industrial business, then you have to uh, consider the profit, highest amount, you know, using minimum uh, uh, input, uh, how you can get the maximum output and you can limit the uh, wastes. Uh, this is why you have to create uh, the, uh, you know, uh, an ideal uh, uh, atmosphere for the best uh, reaction uh, taken place to give you the highest amount of the product. Because lots of things, uh, I am giving you very simple uh, uh, reaction uh, to tell you uh, the uh, basic uh, 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 principle, but lots of you know, uh, catalyst and other things are used to facilitate uh, the reaction uh, to get the highest amount of product. So ideal uh, gas and ideal uh, pressure uh, is easy for you to calculate and understand. But when you uh, make a plant, 
uh, there are lots of you know chemist synthetic chemist by changing slight changing in the pressure slight changing in the temperature or gradient of the temperature and pressure and volume uh, they uh, calculated how much product is uh, uh, you know uh, they obtain in the laboratory condition and uh, the best one they choose for the uh, commercialization so ideal uh, your calculation should be started from the ideal one for example i told uh, you the molar ratio because you can easily calculate otherwise uh, you have to do every step reaction uh, and you can calculate the amount of uh, uh, reactant you use the either molar uh, mole or the amount and get the uh, you know uh, product and uh, synthetic chemists do all the things uh, to set any uh, reactant uh, uh, or a plant uh, to get the highest benefit so you have to uh, the starting point is ideal gas and pressure and then you can uh, do the experiment uh, whether uh, changing any parameter can give you the highest uh, you know product but ideal one uh, uh, allows you to get the uh, maximum uh, you know the product but real life uh, in the chemical reaction it is very hard to maintain uh, the uh, ideal atmosphere uh, pressure uh, 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 stp so uh, uh, you uh, you uh, you know uh, principal uh, starting point is ideal gas and pressure but if slightly change uh, uh, what happen uh, it uh, is uh, necessary to uh, calculate because in real life in the uh, plant may be slightly change so this is why you know in the industry we get lots of effluent effluent means unreacted uh, product or undesirable uh, uh, product uh, you cannot do uh, you know for example uh, uh, meta uh, benzene and methyl chloride uh, uh, the uh, first reaction uh, exactly same if you do large scale uh, you know production 100% zero waste uh, uh, you can never get uh, there will be uh, some you know uh, 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 waste obviously and it is due to not exactly maintaining the ideal uh, gas and uh, standard gas and uh, or I gas and uh, pressure clear Jahi? yes sir anyone any question sir uh, is the friedel craft reaction uh, uh, only applicable in organic uh, chemistry or we can apply it uh, uh, in inorganic chemistry as well. Uh, Friedel Craft reaction, uh, yes, uh, this is the uh, 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 you know special reaction, uh, not universally applicable, and not for other other compound. <laughs> you cannot get this. So Friedel Craft reaction is a typical one to produce. You know. Uh, 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 to re uh, react with methyl chloride and uh, uh, methyl benzene, not universally uh, used for all cases. But this principle, uh, principle, uh, the insight of this reaction helps uh, to uh, solve the uh, synthetic chemistry, uh, not only organic, even in the or uh, inorganic uh, uh, synthetic chemistry, uh, including the metal and others. Uh, so. Uh, uh, it, it, uh, you know chemistry uh, uh, either organic or inorganic it is a poor subject and i am not uh, going uh, to uh, teach you the uh, you know organic chemistry because you will be puzzled you are uh, uh, the student of environmental biotechnology and biosafety your background is agriculture if i uh, i, I uh, when i was in japan uh, I uh, uh, spent two years to study the organic chemistry. And I was, uh, uh, when I went there, I was simply like an in fact, although I was the top student in my batch out of 500 students at BAU, uh, I was first class first, but even though when I uh, went to Japan, I saw my knowledge in organic chemistry is 
uh, you know, near to zero uh, because uh, organic chemistry is a very robust science uh, and uh, uh, you need to uh, study at least uh, two textbooks. One is uh, uh, Solomon's textbook, very big book, and you can understand, you know, uh, the uh, principles of, uh, of different kind of reactions, stereochemistry. Uh, I, I'm not, uh, you know, uh, giving you uh, lots of uh, or tons of pressure uh, to confuse you because uh, this is not the objective of this uh, course. A very big subject, organic chemistry and uh, uh, inorganic chemistry. And in last century, especially due to the discovery of spectroscopic method like NMR, mass spectrometry and others, uh, you know, allowed uh, to understand organic chemistry and make big revolution, industrial revolution uh, uh, in uh, chemistry and physics uh, 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 helped us to become the industrial uh, world. Uh, you know, uh, in certain point, you can find physics and uh, chemistry are merged uh, together because physics uh, with matter and chemistry with the reaction, and you can see uh, in certain point they are uh, merged together. This is why, uh, you know, uh, 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 the Nobel laureate uh, uh, Marie Curie, uh, uh, she got a Nobel Prize in uh, two subjects. So they are uh, very close. Even a biologist, if you want to become a big biologist or molecular biologist, you need to know the organic chemistry in the later stage. Uh, if you want to become a giant, how the chemical reactions are taken place, even uh, in the biomolecules, for example, uh, nucleic acid uh, and the protein, protein-protein uh, interaction and nucleic acid interaction, uh, lots of uh, complex uh, reactions are taking place and organic chemists, they are helping us a lot. Uh, even physics, biophysics helping us a lot because uh, lots, uh, uh, you know, uh, all the matters in this art abide by the law of mathematics, uh, laws of chemistry and laws of physics. Well, whatever you are a student of a, a agriculture or, or uh, environmental science or anything else but uh, 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 in this uh, uh, world basic subject like mathematics uh, chemistry uh, and uh, physics uh, the laws established uh, till now uh, all of we are uh, abide by uh, consciously unconsciously abide by uh, those laws uh, but you cannot uh, understand all the laws and uh, become the giant in all the subjects. But uh, what uh, is important uh, uh, to your work, uh, which are very relevant to your work, it is better to know. In case of uh, a biologist, uh, you need a, cer a, a certain level of understanding of uh, uh, you know, uh, chemistry as well as the physics. Uh, uh, if you go through uh, 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 many uh, journals, you can see interface of physics and biology, uh, biophysics, uh, or, uh, you know, uh, chemistry and uh, biology uh, are must. And if you uh, go through my publications, uh, if you have a free time, browse Google Scholar, you can find all of my uh, publications. You can see we are publishing a paper, uh, uh, you know, in many journals which are quite interdisciplinary. Recently, we published a paper in a journal named Engineering, which has become a big news in, uh, you know, uh, Protomalu and Bangladesh Protein uh, New Ways. Uh, perhaps you have seen, we uh, discovered a, a new, uh, uh, you know, rapid uh, diagnostic uh, 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 strip uh, for uh, wheat blast first in the world. And we published uh, it in a journal called Engineering. And that journal published a paper uh, on space science or, you know, uh, uh, construction science, all types of engineering, including the uh, bioengineering or genetic engineering. That means, uh, you know, um, every subject uh, is not limited. We just, uh, you know, uh, made us uh, uh, 
uh, in a narrow uh, way so that we can work uh, in deep. Uh, but even though you have to understand uh, uh, the, uh, what is uh, relevant uh, to, uh, in other discipline, what is relevant to you uh, for better understanding of the natural phenomena or uh, synthetic uh, phenomena, uh, um, which uh, uh, anthropogenically we are doing. Thank you very much. Any question? Do anyone have any more question? I shall try to give you uh, some uh, in next class. I shall try to give you some uh, insight of uh, thermodynamics, uh, thermodynamics because it is uh, happening in our even intestine. It is happening in the uh, space science. Of, uh, for example, when you fly from Bangladesh to America by, uh, uh, by using a plane, uh, thermodynamic principles are working. Otherwise you know, uh, the aeroplane cannot be made. And these are the big discovery of uh, in chemistry and physics. Uh, and uh, the human are getting uh, the benefit of all the, you know, principles exist in nature. And discovering those things, we are discovering uh, a big, uh, uh, you know, revolution. Uh, but sometimes, you know, these principles uh, are, uh, not only used uh, as the benefit of uh, uh, mankind, sometimes uh, used to, uh, you know, uh, develop lots of, uh, you know, uh, uh, lethal weapons <laughs> against the human. So uh, lots of, uh, you know, unfortunate uh, uh, thing also can be happen. Any question? Do anyone have any question? No? Then uh, uh, thank you very much uh, for attending the uh, talk. And I hope uh, uh, in my next lecture, I shall discuss on thermodynamics, uh, the laws of thermodynamics to give you a slight overview about the thermodynamics. Have a good day.